Flush off, Benny. Yeah, I said that. I'm feeling a bit flushed, and I think my harem of fictional husbands is about to go down the drain. <laughs> Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Espoir David, and today I want to play a game called... Toilet Fluffer. It all started when the machines became sentient. Oh, count me in then. After a decade-long debate as to whether or not these sentient beings had a right to autonomy, a gritty, contentious verdict was determined. Robots, androids, machines, and all the like would receive their freedom if they so choose. Sentient robots? That's one of my favorite topics. This right here is my favorite thing, ever. In the history of forever. If a machine truly wished, they could remain as they were and serve an indefinite term with a single, finite purpose. If not, they could be classified as mecha-human, and as such, they would be free to determine their own purpose, so long as they accepted the everyday struggles that such freedoms came with. So you could be a toaster forever, or you could start paying taxes. That's what I thought. Being a toaster sounds pretty neat. They would have to maintain their own well-beings. They would pay taxes, rent, and for their own health care. They would contribute to society, and would be offered little to no protections from the harshness of the outside world. That's kind of a shame that that's what being a normal human is like. Forget it, I'm just going to be a toaster. Can, can I become a toaster? Well, no, because then I wouldn't be able to flirt with this toilet. This was the burden of being human, and it would be for any machine that decided to risk it all to become something more than a tool. Ooh. It wasn't easy. At the end of the day, machines aren't humans. Their nature of existence is radically different from ours. The economy recovered. All those newly autonomous mecha-human civilians had needs, which created a booming job market and economy. But many would return to their prior mandated lives soon enough. The cost of being a mecha-human was outrageous, and in a world where even human beings were unable to afford adequate medical assistance, Many mecha-humans floundered when they began to break down. I came here to flirt with a toilet, not to be sad. Government programs only went so far. Their priorities remained the fleshy, vulnerable humans who had built the machines and mecha-humans alike. In all senses, there was a great wave of mecha-human poverty. For all their access to downloadable knowledge and skills, even they couldn't account for the unpredictability of the real world. Oh. Turns out having disgruntled, purposeless mecha-humans running around isn't very safe for anyone. When mecha-humans began to break down and could not return to their original positions after, they became restless. Their misery perforated the existence of their kind and beyond. Mechanical zombies began to stalk the streets, tearing each other apart and fighting for the right to live another day, no matter if the object of their venom had anything to do with those odds. Oh, well, we got mecha zombies. Okay. Now, the main problem area is up here. All of this going on up here is what's causing me the most physical discomfort. Okay. I, I went from flirtatious to sad to now terrified. There was a second economic boom, with the invention of many luxuries that would placate existing mecha-humans. Or if not placate, then preoccupy at least. Oh, so you gave them all TikTok! Synthetic mecha booze and smokes. Bluetooth genitals, for those born so unlucky as to have been granted a purpose that did not require them to be made with them. Even better bodies. A line of more human-like bodily upgrades. Hmm... Markets, once filled with angry, desperate mecha-humans, became markets for all the digital vices of mecha-human could stand before they drowned. Getting depressed again. Even if you lost an arm, or leg, or an eye, you can at least be pacified. Getting real depressed again. Like, hey, I know our government's doing awful, terrible things and all over the world, but hey, here's this brand new cell phone. Things are better now. They're worse in a lot of ways, but they're also better. Everyone knows the history. 
but few have the emotional bandwidth to care. Even mecha-humans don't particularly care to address their grim prospects. After all, this was what they asked for, right? To be like us humans. Why are we still here? Just to suffer? They just had no way of knowing that in this economy, the human existence is hardly admirable unless you're insanely rich. We're all trudging through this together, and that's what I try to keep in mind as I make my rounds every month to collect the rent from my tenants. Mm -mm. I have three tenants this month who haven't paid up. Oh no, am I a landlord? I'm truly the most evil. <sighs> I'm not thinking I'll have too much a problem with two of those three, but... That third one is going to be a pain in the butt. I'm a landlord, as in the scum of the earth. Glad she knows that. Owns the place you live in, kind. Honestly, it's not a glamorous gig. You'd think it'd be easy money. But I put a lot of money back into keeping the whole building well maintained. I try to be fair, and I spend all day on call. It was my mom's family home. She grew up here, with a member of her family in every apartment, and even if I'm the only one in my family left, I try to treat it like part of our legacy. Or oh, as nice. It's a rough part of town, so I have to really fight to keep things livable here. Most of the tenants here are mecha-humans now. That means I have to make all sorts of accommodations for their needs. I don't mind. It's worth it to keep this little sliver of mom alive. She always wanted to treat everyone here like family, and while I'm not exactly willing to go that far myself, I'm at least going to do a good job as their landlord and make them feel safe in their homes. If only they'd be half as considerate. The first one on the list is Lewis. He lives on the second floor in a cute little loft-style apartment. Lewis and I actually have a decent relationship. Sure, sometimes he's late to pay, but he always has the money. It's not too often, and he's quick to settle up. I never have any issues with him. I'd go as far as to say I'd try to be a good neighbor to him and back. Sometimes we'll water each other's plants, or stop by with dinner. Aww. It's informal as it gets, but then again, he's probably the most likable tenant in the building. He's just a bit of a day sleeper, and tends to lose track of time. When he's not taking on clients outside of home, he's working from it at night. He says he doesn't need to rest, and it would make sense if so, but I think with all the facades he has to put on in a day, he enjoys the chance to turn everything off for a moment and conserve his energy. Either way, he's actually really nice, if not a bit eccentric. Hello? Hey, Lewis, I have to talk to you about something. He opens the door, and I'm hit with a wave of cotton candy perfume smell. Ooh. Oh, I bet he smells lovely. Uh, yeah? Oh, Kathy, hey. Hey, Lewis, I'm really sorry to bother you. You weren't sleeping, were you? No, <laughs> not really. Good guess. But I had an overseas client call. Time zones and whatnot. You know how it is. <laughs> oh, I'm sure I don't. Right. Lewis works in the companion field. He's a professional, too, having been billed for it and applied for mecha humanship after. That just makes me sad if a person of his position did not want to become a mecha human and just wanted to stay a toaster. He's a lovely neighbor, but by nature, he's also a huge flirt. I'm pretty sure a third of the building might have a crush on him. It's only natural. He's handsome, charming, and he's always the first to make the move. Mecha humans like him are the most respected. They're built and designed to be as pretty and charismatic as possible. They have built-in riz. Aw, don't play coy, Cathers. It's so embarrassing. Pushing me away over and over again? You know it takes ages for my ego to heal. <laughs> nice upsell, but no dice still, I'm afraid. You and I both know that it takes more than that to put a dent in something so dense. Man, I was really hoping to knock at least 10% off this month. <laughs> Are you kidding? With the rates you charge, I'd be in debt to you for, like, ever! 
<laughs> that could be pretty hot. No, Lewis! Don't do this, no! Yeah, no, not really my thing. <laughs> it would be hilarious, though. Don't worry, I'll find your thing someday. <laughs> Just promise me you're not still hanging on to that butthole. I'd be really teed off if I was in the same running as him. Oh no. Oh no, drama! Oh, no way. Ew. Hands down, I'd rather fluff you than him any day. Ouch. Probably didn't mean for it to come off like that, but... Ouch. Ah, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that. I... I mean... <laughs> Lol, I know what you mean. You'd rather just fluff neither of us, right? Affirmative. I'm not really looking for anything right now. <laughs> Still kinda... I... I don't know. Well, if you change your mind, you know where to find me. Oh no! His date power would be too powerful for me. I know you're here for your owned bounty, so... I'll send it over in a sec. You should get it by the end of the day. Sorry to make you come down here like this. You know I don't mind an excuse to see you. Looking's always free, right? <laughs> Jeez, Cathers. You're really gonna rip me off like that? So shrewd. <laughs> what a nice gentleman. Ugh. There we go. A shiny 500 creds are deposited into my bank account. It's actually pretty affordable, considering the area. It's nice and in the middle of the city. Most places like this go for 1,500 creds or more. Inflation's been a real biscuit. I'm losing money keeping this place so cheap, but I know that Mom would have kicked my buns if I'd so much as considered raising it. She'd never have considered charging anything more than that. Alright, next on the list is green light. That should be easy, too. It's not too early. I think you should be in. Most landlords would text their tenants, yeah. But if these guys were easily reachable, they would have paid by now. Lewis has the excuse of being a space case and a deep sleeper. Greenlight has a whole other thing going. He just never checks his phone. Ever. <clears throat> My dude! Hey, green light, it's Kathy. Pay up. <gasps> oh, I don't know why, but I love him. Here comes the man. Hello, adult man. Welcome, taxpayer. I love him and I want to protect his smile wherever it is. Hello, Miss Kathy. How are you doing today? Green light is what we classify as an ob obtaton? It's a special class of object automatons that have mecha humanship. Okay. Well, he's a he's street light who got what he wanted. They can range from toasters, home appliances, and even stop signs. Optotons like Greenlight tend to have very traditional personalities. They're really nice, if not a little plain, but they're definitely not to be underestimated. Can they be cuddled? Technically, Greenlight has a government job. His retirement plan is looking better than anything I've got. Oh, I'm doing good. Just making the rounds. You forgot to pay your rent again. Shoot, I thought I had it set up to auto-pay. Your utilities are, but your rent isn't. Do you need help getting it set up again? And use up even more of your precious time? Absolutely not. I'll take care of it tonight. For now, let me see about getting my checkbook. Is he... Is he old? Oh, is he a grandpa? Oh, he's a grandpa robot. I love him. Greenlight really likes to do things old school. I don't have the heart to tell him that I have to go to a specialty bank to cash his checks. <laughs> oh, he's an old man. He's been a tenant for so long, I'd feel bad making him feel bad. And of course, he would feel bad. He's sweet. Alright, that's 750 creds, right? He hands me a slip of paper, and true to his word, 750 is the amount. On the dot, thanks. I really appreciate it. 
anything from my favorite landlord. But by the way, I've been having issues with the water temperature lately. It never really gets hot enough to shower, and I have to use the kettle for washing dishes now. I hate to trouble you, but is there anything you can do? Uh, ah, yeah, I'm really sorry about that. I'll get someone down to take a look at that. Did you put in a formal complaint? I tried to, but I couldn't really find the app to do that. It's still not an app, Greenlight. You just have to text me or send me an email. Oh. Oh, it's fine. I'd rather just tell you myself if that's okay. Nothing beats face-to-face -face interface communication, am I right? Precious. <laughs> sure. Can I get you anything while you're here, by the way? Coffee? Tea? Maybe some juice? I think I might have some brioche cakes in the back of the pantry. Oh no, I couldn't. That would be way too much trouble. In truth, if I stayed for a snack, I wouldn't be out of here for at least another hour and a half. Despite his claims to not want to take up too much of my time, Greenlight is insanely hospitable. For someone whose job is pushing people along in busy traffic gluts, he's definitely one to tarry. That's fine. Some other time, then. I'll ring you on the telephone, and we can find a nice time to get together and chat. Sounds like a plan. I've got to get along anyways. More errands to do. Of course. You have a lovely day, then. I love him. Can, can I spend the day with green light? He's precious. In total, I'm 500 credits richer, and I have 750 creds to cash. This takes me to 1,250 credits down. Only 250 creds to go. So far, so good, but I can't let my guard down yet. Two out of three still means one is left, and the final one is the most difficult out of all. Uh-oh. Do I gotta rough, rough somebody up? Thinking about it always makes me anxious. He does this every month, but I never really know what to expect. Is he going to be passed out from work? Is his mail slot going to be stuffed with dirty magazines again? On top of not being the most ideal situation to be in, I'm never able to fully be prepared to deal with the likes of Benny. I'm hoping at least he has the money this time, or even half of it. I let him slide last month, but... He owes me- That's a lot of months! I mean, creds! He owes me about 12,000 creds. Benny! 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 Listen here, you! I mean, I know landlords are evil, but come on now! I open my mouth to call out, but no sound comes out. I feel embarrassed. Like, if I make a sound, someone's going to realize I'm here. I don't want anybody to know I'm here. Mm -mm. Benny! It's Kathy! Come on, Benny, don't do this again! Mm -mm. Go away! He's speaking over the doorbell, so he's definitely home. I'll go away when you pay your rent! You can't do this to me again. I'm kind of dealing with something right now. Come back later. Listen, you deadbeat. <laughs> Don't make me come in there and give you a spanking. Nuh-uh. No way. Open up, or I swear to God this will be your last month here. It's a pretty drastic threat for me, but I have to remind myself how much money he owes. Yeah, that's... that's... with how much everybody else is paying... I'm not the bad guy, right? I let him get away with a lot more than I should. The least he owes me is an explanation to my face. Nice try, sweetheart. But we both know you're not going to do it. Just leave me alone right now. I'm serious. I am too going to do it, a-hole. Don't tell me what I can and can't do with my own apartments. Dang it, Kathy. I'm not fluffing around. You'll get your money. I just need a second. Benny Calig... Calig... Caligari. If you don't open this door right fluffing now, I'm going to evict you. If you think I'm bluffing, that's fine. But don't come crying to me when you get the notice. 
I bailed you out last month and the month before that. Don't be such an a-hole. Hmm. <laughs> Benny! You got some... splaining to do. But Benny? It's dark. All the lights are off. I don't need to see to know this is Benny's apartment. It smells like metal tang, musk, and dirty laundry. Monsieur! Ugh! I could smell that in my own nose. Christ, Benny! You really need to clean up in here. This place is disgusting. Apologies. I wasn't expecting... No. I specifically tried to keep off. Company. I ain't exactly in the most hospitable of moods. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you avoiding your sole responsibility as a tenant was so difficult. You could have answered my text if you didn't want to see me so badly. What? what? No, that's not what I meant. Fluff, Caths. What do you want from me? The, the rent, as I said, like maybe six times, monsieur. Then rent. Two hundred and fifty creds. I... I don't have it. Benny? What do you mean you don't have it? I thought you said... Something came up at work, okay? They've got me on suspended leave until I... fix it. Mm. What the fluff did you do? Oh no. Him big. It... is... That? A toilet? Benny! What the fluff? It's a mascot prop, okay? Oh, this is the best day ever. No, it's not. Isn't it, though? It's stuck. I've been trying to get it off, but work told me it was company theft, and not to come back until I could return it. I... I blew the rent trying to find the right tools to do it. Mm. Resist the urge to laugh. Take pictures for your compilation. I'm sorry, okay? You know what? I'm really glad I came by. This makes it entirely worth it. Fluff you. This is heck. I can't go anywhere looking like this. Good. You shouldn't be going anywhere. You owe me 12,000 creds. Plus, that's rent, loans, things you've broken around here. Technically speaking, you don't have the money to do that even without a toilet for a head. No way it's that high. I'm still not paying for that fluff and elevator thing. It's not my fault it was made with such shoddy craftsmanship. You punched it! <laughs> it was stuck. I'm not fighting you on this right now. You want your money back? Help me get this darn thing off. Then I can go back to work. And then, you can have your precious rent. I'm not helping you. Why would I want to help you? But, I'm trying to be all vulnerable and stuff, Kathy. I'm asking you for help. Isn't that the kind of sentimental stuff you were telling me you wanted? Maybe ages ago. Now? Nah, I have better things to do. Get me the rent money, or pack your stuff. I'm done. Well, aw, come on. You know I've been trying. It's... it's just a rough patch. You can't do this to me. I absolutely can. Sometimes I feel like you take advantage of me, you know? Just because I'm not as big as you doesn't mean you can just push me around. The Macho Man Tough Guy Act stops now. You pay up, or you get out. Yeah. Crap. Kathy, babe. Don't you babe me, you buff, metallic, shiny toilet face man. How dare you? You know I'd never take advantage of you. What kind of accusation is that? Yeah, it's a crap situation, but you're still my girl, right? How dare you? How dare you try to put the riz upon me? Kitty calf. Flush off, Benny. Yeah, I said that. What? What did I do? It's cash by the end of the day, or O-U-T. I'm not playing around. I'm telling you, I don't have any money right now. I'd give it to you if I could, cross my gosh darn heart. 
But if I don't get this off, I don't work at all. They're gonna charge me a thousand creds for this thing. Why did you put it on in the first place? Holy crap, are you serious? Yes, that's why I considered it an investment. I spent everything I have trying to get this fluffing thing off my head. I'm probably gonna have to see a specialist, but... Hmm... I... I'm really sorry, Kathy. I'm trying my best. It's not a good time, and I feel... bad. Could you, you say you, you perhaps feel... down the drain? <laughs> I don't have anywhere else to stay. Please. Just one more time. I I need this. Greenlight was complaining about a boiler issue. Can't get hot water in his apartment. How much is a job like that worth? I I could do it for 250. Good. Come on then. Let's get this over with. <sighs> Fluff. <laughs> Benny is a complicated guy. This I've known since even before I came to own the building. I was in college when I moved back home to stay with Mom while I studied. He moved in around the same time. We've known each other for about four years now. He's not a bad guy. He was there for me when Mom died. But right now, he's not exactly in my good books, either. Plumbing and electric are down here- oh, almost slipped. You know what you're doing, right? Does he? What is your job, buddy? If you break my building, I'll break you. I'm not gonna break your darn building, jeez. I'm certified. How the heck do you think I kept a job like this for so long? I don't know. I mean, you pay your rent so rarely, you'd think you hadn't had one in months. Mm hmm? I thought we discussed this. This time. But you and I both know you've got a lot of bad habits that cost you a lot of money, too. You realize some of your mail still gets delivered to the front office, right? <laughs> and a lot of those packages aren't so discreet. Who the heck even still orders their porn in print? You have the internet! That is a clear case of a problem! It's free there! <laughs> it's the principle! Physical is just better, okay? Plus, there's collector's value. Alright, alright, I'll let that one slide. <laughs> Ew? Tch, you wouldn't understand. You never have. No, I don't, because I'm normal, and I don't collect dirty magazines and unwashed clothes. I'm a guy. Guys have needs. Pick up a biology book sometime. It's pretty normal, actually. Shame on you for shaming me. <laughs> How about we just stick to the main task at hand? How quickly can you figure out what's wrong? Tisk tisk, so pushy. It's not like a doctor thing, you know? I can't just walk up and diagnose the issue without a thorough poke and prod. It's gonna take a while, and that's all I can tell you for now. Just be grateful if it doesn't turn out to be worse than it looks. Hopefully this guy knows his way around pipes. There's a deafening thunk as he sets down his toolbox and gets down on one knee. He starts looking at gauges and meters and whatnot. He taps at them and peers around the cluster of pipes and tanks. It's strange to see him in what looks to be his natural habitat. He's unusually focused and dedicated to his thorough inspection. Well, I can kind of see the issue. Mm hmm. I don't think I'll need any parts for this, thank God. It just looks like it's been a while since this thing has seen any maintenance. When was the last time you had anyone look at this? Definitely too long. I suppose I had it coming. That's an understatement. I guess the electric systems and upgrades tend to take priority, what with the amount of mecha-humans living here. Some shower and eat for leisure, but not every mecha-human is privileged enough to be able to afford luxury sensory systems or waterproofing. Yeah, how, do, how, do, how does my boy take a bath? Does he need a bath? Showers, sinks, and hot water are practically useless to some. 
Guess that bodes well for me. It's just like old times, with me swooping in to take care of all the big strong men work for you. Twelve thousand creds, Benny. Last I checked, big strong men settled their debts like big strong men. Yeah, Benny. If anything, I'm the one who's providing for and taking care of you. If you're going to patronize me, make sure you're actually the breadwinner in the relationship. <clears throat> How can anyone be the breadwinner when you live to work like you do? You'd actually have to relax long enough to let someone else take care of you for that to happen. <laughs> yeah, you know, I've been meaning to do that. If only one of my tenants would get his crap together so I could stop having to go out and hunt him down every month. Yeah, Benny. <laughs> That would be real useful. Hmm. Hey, that ain't me you're talking about, is it? Jeez, what happened to you, Caths? You used to be fun. Maybe a little too fun. I'm sorry if it's inconvenient, but you haven't exactly been the most reliable person in my life for a while now. Oh, are they gonna fight? Oh no, are they gonna have a relationship fight? I'd better get to work. I can figure everything out from here. You don't need to hang around for my sake. I'll try to have this figured out by the end of the day. I... I'll let you know if anything else comes up. Was that too harsh? He gets back to work and I linger for a bit to watch him, but he pays me no attention. <sighs> Eventually it sets in. There's really nothing else I can do here. I decide to head back upstairs. Maybe I can go cash Greenlight's check. I don't know what right I have to hold him hostage like this. I mean, he does kind of owe a substantial amount of money. If I cared about him, I'd forgive the debt. But I feel like if I do, I'm just letting him walk all over me again. I would miss him if he had to go, but my goodwill is running low. I don't know what I'm expected to do or be in a situation like this. Are you over there moping again? Les sigh. You're so predictable. Uh-uh! Louis! What are you doing here? Don't act like you don't know. This is the only place in the building where I can smoke and not set off any alarms. You do what in the building? <clears throat> Oh, nothing. <laughs> that didn't sound like nothing. Like I was saying, though, you come here when you're all down and out. I take it he didn't pay up again. Mm. He had some medical issues come up. So we agreed he'd look at the boiler in lieu of payment this month. Ugh. Are you serious? You let him off the hook? Again? Hey, at least this time he's getting some work done on the place. It's an exchange of goods and services. Greenlight mentioned not being able to get hot water, so it all works out. Mm. Kathy, you need to stop coddling him. He's taking advantage of you, and it's putting you out, what, every month? Every month it's a new justification. You spend so much time and energy looking for reasons why this is okay. He is a grown man, and he needs to take responsibility for his life. It's more serious this month. He really did have something happen to him at work. They won't let him take jobs again until it's fixed, and he's been trying to fix it. That's not his fault. It is his fault he is where he is now, though. He throws his money around like he knows that no matter what, you're going to take care of him. You think I don't see him at the clubs when I work? Hmm. He's going out like that again? Yeah, he's moved on, Kathy. Oh. Maybe it's just time that you did too. It feels like a punch to the gut to hear it. What this game should be called is Toilet Unfluffer. We cannot fa fall for his newly acquired toilet charms. We must move on with our relationship. I suspected that Benny was going out late night to do something, but I guess I just mentally censored what I thought it might be. He'd say he was going out with co-workers. That was probably not a lie. But it definitely wasn't just for drinks, 
And Lewis definitely isn't lying. If Lewis has seen him at the places he works, Benny's definitely spending more than he can afford on good company. He's an a-hole, Kathy. It's hardwired into him. Is it? I know you're a nice girl, but niceness doesn't just work on people like that. You can't fix him, and I say that only to hopefully wake you up to what he's been doing to you all along. Maybe he's not malicious, but he's still taking advantage of the situation. I... I know it looks bad. <sighs> How much more are you willing to take? Come on, Kathy. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to overstep. It's frustrating to watch this happen to you. He treats you like crap, and you sit there waiting for him. You do nothing but bend over backwards to take care of him. What was the last thing he did for you? Nothing. The answer really is nothing. He doesn't stop by to say hello. He doesn't pay his rent. He acts like we're perfect strangers sometimes. Then he acts like we're all buddy-buddy when he needs something. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, drop him like a number two. You're right, but I don't know what to do about it. It's different when it's just me and him. I can be angry, but... He gets so sincere, you know? He knows how to get under my skin. It's because you still have feelings for him. You still have feelings for him, and until you deal with those, he's always going to have some kind of upper hand. I... I don't have feelings for him anymore. No, you only refuse to see anyone else. Attend his every need, give him a place to stay, emotionally cradle him, and make excuses for him to other people when he falls short. That's totally what you do for people you don't have feelings for, right? When was the last time you even entertained the thought of another date with anybody else since you two broke up? Aww. I've been busy, okay? I don't have time for that kind of stuff right now. If you did, though, would you do it? You say you're not looking for anything right now, but it seems to me you're doing a lot of looking at Benny. I mean... Him big? He's not going to look back, but that's okay. You don't need him. I think you just need to get out there and remind yourself that you can do better. I guess... Tell you what, when you get done dealing with him, maybe give me a call. <laughs> Swoops in for the kill. <laughs> Louis, I told you, I can't afford something like that right now. Oh, of course not. But I don't mind getting drinks with you as friends. If you go home with someone else, it's a win. And if you don't, maybe I'll let you follow me home out of pity. Ha <laughs> ha <laughs> we'll see. For now, I'd better go make sure Benny isn't putting any fist-shaped dents in anything. That might be a good idea. I like my hot showers. If he does anything to jeopardize that for me, I might just get rid of him myself. <laughs> oh jeez, he probably could. Oh, by the way, don't let me catch you smoking in the building. That's against the rules. Ah, <sighs> all right. <laughs> I don't immediately head back to Benny. Before I do, I need a moment to steal myself and think things over. It's hard to believe that it's been a year already since the breakup, and in all that time, I've not once entertained the thought of seeing anyone new. Hmm. Apparently, he hasn't felt as hesitant as I have. That's fine. I should have accepted it. Some part of me was hoping that this was just an elongated separation phase. Maybe he'd get better with time. Or maybe, if it was really my fault, I could make it up to him. Benny's big and strong, and when I had his attention, I felt special. Now that I don't have it, I don't feel special. I can't let what's left of our relationship devolve into me seeking out his attention for validation. That much is clear. If he's moved on, I have to move on too. And if that means I stop feeling the need to protect him all the time, so be it. Right? Right. Hey, how's it looking? Well, I have good news and bad news. Tell me you didn't punch something. I've been around Benny before. I've been around him lots of times, but every time I see him, it feels like I've forgotten how large he is. 
I'm staggered by his size. When he stands up, it's like staring up at a large statue. I feel my newfound resolution waver ever so slightly. Don't look at Big Hot Robot Man. Good news is that this specific problem of yours is fixable. I can even have it handled in a few hours, and Greenlight can take his precious showers. Bad news is, your infant structure is so outdated, it's teetering dangerously on being a violation of a few building codes. Ooh, That's not good. Oh, God. Is there anything we can do? Luckily, we caught it. There's gonna be some heavy-duty work involved. But if you can get me what I need to do the job, I can take care of it. Goody for me, I guess. A job like this might seriously riddle down that debt. <laughs> Narrows eyes at Benny. Wait a second. That's pretty convenient, isn't it? This better not be a scam, Benny. I get that you don't like owing me money. A scam? You think I'd do something as stupid as that? Yes! Do you seriously think that I'd scam you? That's, some, that's something that somebody who's preparing to scam would say. I know you're upset with me, but I'm not that kind of guy. I have every intention of paying you back what I owe as legitimately as possible. Don't lump me into that kind of shady business and crew. It's not my thing. You don't have to like me, but I'd hope that you'd know it by now. Hmm. I don't know. I'm... Um. I'm sorry. I know you're not that kind of guy. But I think we need to seriously sit down and talk about the lack of boundaries here. What do you mean? Benny, you can't rely on me to take care of you each month this happens. If you did this to anyone else, you'd be out in your buns right now. I don't like that thought. But this has been really difficult for me to deal with. You can't keep asking me to spot you or let things slide. I feel like you use me, Benny. You know I care, and yet you keep living like this, knowing it worries me and puts me in a dangerous position. You're living like we're still together, you know? You need to be more responsible for yourself, and you need to treat me like a landlord, not a friend. We up friends, though. Aren't we? Don't mistake friendly for friends. When was the last time you stopped by to see how I was doing? You don't take my advice, but you take my charity. You don't listen when I tell you the things you do affect me, but you ask me to be understanding. You don't see how I might feel used when you only ever talk to me under the pretense of my job? I... I didn't think... I didn't want to bother you. I thought you might not want to see me. Maybe I would have, but you didn't stop by to check and see. You need to do better, Benny. And I don't want to kick you out, but you've asked me for everything I can give you, and now I have nothing else. Take that how you will. I'm sorry, Kathy. I, I thought that you needed some space. I didn't mean to ignore you. <sighs> I hurt myself on the job a while ago. I didn't think you'd want to know, so I didn't tell you. But it's a calibration issue. It's gonna cost a lot to fix, and I haven't had that kind of dough. I'm falling apart, I've got the shakes, and I don't move so good these days. And that's why I've got a toilet on my head. And that's why... Mm. Fluff, Kathy. It's been crap. I've been crap. I... I want to be better. I don't want a boundary between us. It hasn't felt worth it to keep going on like this. What if I did make some changes? And what if we tried again? Things can go back to how they used to be. Just you and me. I'd rather double down than lose another piece of you. No, Benny. I can't just do that anymore. You've had so long to say this. Why now? Why at the exact moment I'm telling you I'm all out of favors to give? 
Why tell me about a serious injury you had way after it happened? I get being hesitant, and it's your privacy, but this is way too convenient. I'm being serious, though. Kathy, I, I swear. I respect you. I love you. I've just been out of it. I'm sorry I treated you so bad, but I get it. This is my wake-up call. Your wake-up call was my home being vandalized by your so-called friends. And it should have been mine, too. You don't respect me. You've never respected me. You treat me like I'm small and like I'm a weird little trophy. But I'm done. From here on out, I'm not bailing you out again. You can work off your debts. But when this is all done, you need to take the steps to get your stuff together. I'm not your mommy, and I'm not your weird little housewife. It isn't my job to fix you and make you better. Y yeah Yeah, I get it. I'm gonna just... I'm gonna just get back to work, yeah? I'll let you know what the damages are when I'm finished. You did the right thing, Kathy. It hurts right now, but you did the right thing. That was stupid. That was really fluffing stupid. Christ. He actually asked to get back together? What a fluffing a-hole. I know, but this is what I wanted, isn't it? Maybe I blew my chance. He was vulnerable and honest, and I feel like I threw it all back in his face. What if he decides never to do that again? I know he's hurt now, too. I can't afford to have him shut himself off from the world. Mm. I'm siding with Lewis on this. You can. It's too late, and that's his problem. You're not responsible for teaching him what's healthy to do, and what's not. You don't just ask for a second chance and promise to do better after. He's not interested in change. He's interested in the closeness. You're done. You've been done. And depression or not, he's been checked out too. It's time to move on. Right. Still, I, I'm i gonna miss the sense of purpose all this gave me. It was nice to be needed. And even if it was tiring, Sometimes, he'd do these things that just made it all worth it. He thinks that you might have some things to work out there, but that's pretty normal. I'm sure there's some kind of kink we can find that safely exercises that need, without being emotionally and mentally taxing on your everyday life. <laughs> kink Yeah. Of course, it doesn't have to be with me. But I know a few choice options you might be interested in. What are these options? Lewis, what are these options? I'm asking for a friend. Ah, uh, that that's very nice of you, Lewis. But I don't know if I'm ready to really handle so many options all at once. It's been so long since I've had anything to do with other guys. Benny and I were friends first anyways. Do I have to make friends with a whole new other guy? If that's what you want to do, there's no right way about it. Just do whatever feels comfortable. Be genuine. Communicate your needs. And just remember that there's no one set perfect relationship. You can go casual, or you can be serious. We can go at your own pace. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this will be fun. Aww. Yeah, no big deal. It's just my first night out in a million years. No big deal. It's okay, Kathy. You're doing the right thing. To be continued. Nice. Well, that was Toilet Flusher. A short little experimental game that, actually, I really like the story of. I am now grossly invested in the relationship of Kathy and Benny. And I will yell at the screen and throw popcorn. <laughs> but also keep in mind that this game and any future episodes are intended for an adult audience. And as always, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Take care of yourself. Have a great night. And remember, there is always hope. <laughs>